Here are 10 new App Store games from September 2022. In Road Redemption Mobile, lead a motorcycle gang on a journey across the country in a brutal driving combat road rage adventure. The single player campaign is here, along with classic quick play, but unfortunately, online multiplayer is not available with this port. The game also runs at 30 FPS, and the graphics are honestly not great, even at ultra quality. The dev told me optimizing a 3D game like this that runs on PC to run well on lower end phones required a lot of reprogramming. Also fitting a game that runs on 4GB or more of RAM on PC to work on mobile devices with 2GB of RAM without crashing required a lot of trimming down on memory. I have a response to this and that is that many modern iPhone and iPads have way more than 2 gigabyte of RAM nowadays, so hopefully in the future the graphics can be improved to be near or on the level of the original 2017 game. Apart from all that, it's a fantastic game and it's pretty much exactly like the original game, just with lower graphics and it's really great action and but it's also quite challenging and it's, it's awesome. Road Redemption Mobile offers a free demo where you can play the beginning for free. A one-time in-app purchase of $9.99 USD unlocks the full game. Play this game with a controller if you want to keep your sanity. It is available on iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and Apple Silicon-based Macs. Scourgebringer or Scourgebringer is a fast-paced, free-moving rogue light platformer. Help Kira to explore the unknown and slash her way through ancient machines guarding the seal of her past and maybe the redemption of humanity. I love playing this game on my iMac and it's so cool that I can now play it on my mobile device. You will find many will compare this game to Dead Cells in terms of combat flow and also Celeste in terms of movement. Scourgebringer may not have as much content as Dead Cells or, or Celeste, or variety if I think about it. But the combat does not feel inferior to Dead Cells, in fact it might be harder in, in some ways, and the movement does not feel inferior to Celeste, it's a, a great mix of both worlds. Also its aerial combat mechanics is really unparalleled too. My one tip, you must play this one with a controller. Scourgebringer costs $6.99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon based Macs. In the future, please think about an Apple TV version, please. Netflix is still killing it with their mobile releases. One of their latest is Desta The Memories Between, which mixes a narrative driven adventure with turn based combat. It's a strange mix of gameplay, and in some circumstances, hurts the overall flow of the game but I have to give it credit for trying something different. You also have to think about that it does this gameplay mechanic to explore themes of self-reflection, anxiety, mental health, loss of parental figures, and gender identity. While you relive memories, rediscover friends, and repair relationships, you play a surreal ball game, make trick shots, land hits, and perfect throws during encounters. Just Death the Memories Between is only available to Netflix subscribers. It is available on iPhone and iPad only. I suggest checking it out on iPad Pro if you have one, as this game supports 120 FPS there. Finally, the next Talomir game comes to the App Store. In this one, Lady Talomir's kittens have been acting strange. but. Regardless, still the dungeon's rituals must be carried out. It's up to you to now slay and conquer the runes. You have a shield, which you need to use, or you'll die, trust me. You can defeat enemies, find a key in each room to advance to the next room. You can level up your character and loot by finding new weapons, shields, blessings, and potions to alter your character. It also features the whole single player experience, couch co-op, i.e. local shared screen with two gamepads, online co-op for up to four players per game, including cross-platform support, 
full controller support with rumble vibration, keyboard support on iPad, up to 120 FPS support, and custom resolution support. Telomere 2 offers a free demo with an in-app purchase of $4.99 to unlock the full game. It is available on iPhone and iPad only. Trains plus rails plus puzzle is basically what you get with this one. Railbound is a brilliant track bending puzzle game about two dogs on a journey around the world. Players will try to connect and sever railways to pass each level. In fact, there are over 150 puzzles or levels, so it will take you a while to finish the game. I really love the 2D art style of this one. It reminds me of an old comic book and just provides a really relaxing, casual game. Now, Railbound does have controller support, but it's actually much easier and faster to play with the touchscreen. Railbound costs $4.99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon based Macs. I've known about this game for a while, so I'm happy it's finally released. Command the Federation's troops across the galaxy with the aid of heroes and units and battle strange enemies and ferocious alien creatures. Iron Marine's Invasion is like a 2D mobile version of StarCraft, but it has its own unique flair to it. Maybe, and I might be wrong here, but think of it as like Warcraft, but in a StarCraft world. It's a little more like a humor-filled casual romp RTS. Explore a galaxy, enjoy 25 plus campaign missions, 70 special operations, 8 unit groups, 8 powerful heroes, 8 special weapons, 40 upgrades, 20 plus achievements, and much more. The game is also really, really hard, so good luck. I Marines Invasion costs $4.99 and has some in-app purchases for heroes, unit groups, and credits. Based on what I've played, everything was designed so you don't need to pay anything extra to progress. It is available on iPhone and iPad only. 120 FPS is supported on iPad Pro 2 if you're interested. Now this is a seriously addicting roguelike shoot 'em up. 20 minutes till dawn is all about surviving. That's it. Survive the onslaught of an endless horde of monsters for 20 minutes. Or if you don't have 20 minutes of time to spare, you can try out the quick play mode for 10 minute survivals. It was also recently updated with control support, which is very useful for your survival. There are 80 different upgrades to choose from and a wide cast of characters to pick, with more coming. If you play it right, the replay value can be really strong. You can be a fire wizard, igniting monsters with a shotgun, or be an agile ninja, controlling magic knives to pierce your enemies. It's really cool. 20 Minutes Till Dawn costs only $2.99. It's a bargain. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon based Max. The selling point of Residual is probably that it features a non-violent survival experience and no traditional combat either. Jump and descend through colorful pixel art, evoking classic 2D platformers. Solve light puzzles to reveal secrets of a long lost civilization. Select a male, female, or non-binary protagonist. Customize survival parameters and race to repair the ship. Dig up ancient secrets or collect data entries on hundreds of undiscovered objects. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty good game. Residual costs $5.99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon based Macs. Here is another Netflix game for you. Lucky Luna has players guiding the character Luna through hidden dungeons and mythical temples to unlock the secrets of her past. It's a portrait only game, which might not be for some of you if you are expecting controller support, but it works very well for this one. Each level has been designed specifically for one-handed gameplay and fast-paced movement. As you play, you'll be introduced 
to new mechanics and features, but you need to know one thing. There is no jump button here. You can only swipe to move Lena left and right as she drops deeper into a level. Take advantage of your surroundings and be careful on where she falls because falling is kind of a big part of this game. As I said, Lucky Luna is only available to Netflix subscribers. It is available on iPhone and iPad only. I suggest checking it out on iPad Pro if you have one as the game supports 120 FPS there. Get ready to guide puny humans through Depot's game, a roguelike dystopian army builder. The twist with this one is that you don't control the humans. They fight for themselves. Depot's game is all about strategy and praying to RNGs. Play the game by buying items for the humans, such as swords, crossbows, coffins, and stale pretzels, and buy some cool mutations. Just note, if you die, you have to start over entirely, and the whole world will be generated again from scratch. Depot's game offers a free demo with an in-app purchase of $19.99 USD to unlock the full game. It's a little expensive, but it's exactly the same price as the PC version. It really upsets me to see comments saying this game should be free, because honestly, just zip it. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon based Macs. What do you think of these new App Store games from September 2022? Are you impressed or disappointed? I'm sorry that there are no AAA or high-end games or free gacha games this month. I'm sorry if your world's been turned upside down and you don't know what to do and you're going to cry. I can't help that. But I'm hoping you can find a high-quality indie game here to play on your iPhone, iPad, Apple TV or Mac and just have a good time and smile. Please leave a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with new App Store releases. Wreckfest is coming this October to the App Store, and I'm beyond excited to show it in the next App Store episode. Anyway, my name's Stewie, and thanks for watching.